I play the role of Kyle. Kyle is uh, pretty new to college, and I don't think he quite realizes that it's not like high school anymore, where uh, it's not cool to be a dick all the time. And he makes a lot of homophobic um, comments and just crude comments in general, but I think that it stems more from uh, immaturity than actual, like, uh, deep-rooted hatred. Uh, he's somebody who just kind of hasn't found out yet, you know, that it's not really cool to to be just, like, you know, rude to people. And um, he operates on a level, like, you know, talking to people, assuming that everyone is, like, kind of on the same page, like, as he is, like, that they're, like, a white, straight male, like, that sort of um, vibe. What attracted me to the story, I think, first and foremost, was how surprisingly dark it was, to be honest. Um, I, I was very much expecting a very classic scenario when I first started reading it, and especially just like off the title, you know, it was going to be about a kid who, um, you know, wanted to come out to his friends. But I had no idea that it was going to take all these crazy dramatic turns, and that was just like, it was very like eye-opening to me, and I, I thought it was kind of exciting. <laughs> My favorite memory during production was probably the basketball scene we shot, the opening scene, and it was actually shot um, towards the end of production. I just thought it was so much fun hanging out with the guys. We were playing basketball between takes and just making jokes, and by that point we had already, you know, really um, come together as friends, and I thought that was, you know, it was a really cool time. It was nice closure. If I could play another character, I think I would play James because I, mean, hell, they already think I, about me. I don't get to play characters that are that, um, I guess, like intense or like that will, you know, that I, I can't understand as much. So I would really be interested in in trying to put myself in that mental state and and see if I can get myself there as an actor. Just like Kyle, I am a uh, irrational bigot, of course. But other than that, uh, you know, we both, I guess, same age, college kids, uh, into sports. So I guess I can, I can at least understand um, the world that he comes from. Uh, and I guess, like you know, he's. I think he's like a symbol of like someone who's trying to figure it all out still, but it's too cool not to, not to reveal it. You know, like um, a false sense of independence. And I, I would say that I kind of had a little bit of that in the beginning of my college career, too. So I drew a lot of my motivation from, um, from college, actually. I was on the track team, and I... I pulled just like a lot of the the atmosphere of like those guys into what I kind of um, see as Kyle is like a type of groupthink athlete that a lot of college athletes fall into that realm of uh, thinking it's okay not to give a shit and to kind of just be ignorant, assuming everyone in the room has the same exact thoughts and isn't diverse. My dream role is Wolverine, for sure. Wolverine is actually supposed to be a shorter guy, so it's right up my alley. Um, but other than that, roles that I would like to play in the near future, uh, I would definitely say some more comedic roles. You know, I would like to try uh, some variety, like not as much um, like ignorant humor, but like more of like a, a nervous type of humor or very energetic 
because that's kind of uh, that's like a, a an easy brand for me, and that's something that I would like to explore a little bit more in the near future.